going on y'all welcome back to katie's empire man we got an interesting video for you guys today so today's video is actually going to be about a 16 year old confronts his mother about not knowing who his father is <sighs> let's get into the video let me ask you something you better be real with me because what? i am what? leave it right now what, Jamie, all for 16 years, you got me running around with John. And this man telling me he ain't your daddy, man. Please tell me. Please tell me that ain't true. Please tell me that ain't true. I mean, I can tell you that, but it's not true. I mean, it's, it's true. He not your dad. So who my dad then? Um, I'm going to just be real with you. It's like, you know, back in the day. It, first of all, why am I explaining anything to you anyway? What you mean? It's I'm your son. I'm anyway. your son. You know, father, that's my I'm business. 16 years. You know, I'm you, your son. You're you supposed to be able to tell me that. JD, you got me out here in front of the neighbors and everything with this mess. Like, can you go I don't care about them. I, I want to know the truth. I don't, about about I don't care about who around here listening. I don't care. I really don't care who around here listening. Who is my dad? Do you know or not? No, I do not know who your daddy is. So and that don't that's not a big deal. I mean I'm just saying you you don't got this far without him. So what so it's why did so why do I have to go find you. out myself then? Why John, why do you have to tell me? Why do you have to tell me? Explain listen, that. Why do you listen, have to tell me that? John John been there for you for your whole life. And he has. A daddy a daddy is not who you come from. A daddy is who raised you. I get that. I get that, but I'm I'm still wondering like why you come man up and tell me or woman man up and tell up. me and tell me who man my dad up. is. Why, who is you talking to? Who you talking I'm to? I'm talking to you right now, mom. I'm You're 16 like years old, mom. I'm 60. I, I'm, I feel like I'm, at this point voice. in my life, I feel like I'm older explanation, especially now that I'm older, mom. I'm 16, mom. I'm not no little kid and you ain't got to lie to me no more. I don't more. have to tell you nothing about my business. I don't know who your father is. The man that raised you, John, is, has John ever done anything bad? He hasn't, but I has still it, would like to know who my dad is. Every football game, basketball game, and you out here trying to stir up mess, and it's hot. Ma, just be real with me. I know you say you don't know. Can you at least remember or anything as far as what's going Listen, on? I'm going to just be real with you, okay? You know... Back in the day, it was it was tough for me, and like I said, you know, it was one weekend, and you know, I just don't know. I don't know. So, you, so, so basically, you were first of all, no, I was not a don't get paid. Stop playing with me. Uh, this way it's signing right now. Face. That's the way it's signing right there, right that's, right now. That's the way it's signing Stop right now. Stop playing in my face right now. I know you feeling some type of way, but you're gonna have to just get over it. And that don't change the fact that John always been there for you. What? That don't change the fact that he always been there for you. I just don't understand why you got me out here. And are you recording me too? Yes, I'm recording you oh, because I want to wow. know too. But I'm definitely going to put this out for wow. everybody to see well, too. Everybody should going to know that my son is a disrespectful little Are you even my mom too? Little... So are you my mama too? Well, I got the stretch marks to prove that. You want to see that too? Since you questioning everything, you out here behind my back looking for stuff. What is you looking for? What is you looking for? That man didn't even want to be with you. He don't even know who you are. I need mama, no, I mama. Don't. You don't understand, mom. I'm getting older. Again, I'm 16 years old, mom. You, you know this. Older. I'm getting older. Too. I need getting my older. father. I need my father. You want? You don't want me running around the streets being bad or anything like that. But you can't even tell me who my real Jay. dad is. Jay, Jay, listen. You are really, really, really doing too much right now. You know I'm not doing me? too much, mom. I you want to know the truth, mom. I just want to know the truth, mom. I'm not doing too much. Well, it's nothing I can tell you. I done tell, told you everything I had to tell you. What more you want me to tell you? I don't know nothing. I don't know. I can't lie to you. You want me to lie to you? I lie to you. I've I been lying to you. Well, John ain't you know, my dad, dad, so I need to know who my dad is, mom, because John ain't my dad. Boy, I just need to know who my dad is, listen, so we need to John, figure that out. Well, I don't know how we're going to figure that out. How are we going to figure that out? You tell me and I'll tell you. Man, exactly. There's plenty of ways we can go find out, mom. I need. I really need my father right no, now, mom. No, I need. I need no, him. I really need me. him. You got me. You don't. I do got him. you, but you got me. It's some stuff you I can't see. Everything in your life, I've been. I've been making sure you the star in our life. Making sure you have everything you need. You don't need a daddy. You don't need him. He probably was not gonna be there no way. I, I, like I can't really believe you really picked today, like. Really come out here. Well, I mean, John like told me, so I mean, I stuff. really want to know, John. I'm going to tell Mama and them, them, you out here acting crazy. Everybody know. How you don't know? I'm not supposed to know I'm 16, know. man. I don't know who he is. Listen. And you introduced me to him. Oh, okay, so I'm going to just be real with you. He off his block. I just don't remember who it is. Just leave me alone. Like, I'm tired. I just got off work not too long ago. And I... I 
man. <sighs> Honestly, man, stuff, stuff like this, stuff like this is crazy, man. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off by saying this: under no circumstances should you ever disrespect your parent. All right, not just mom, not just dad. I don't. That's just me. Under no circumstances should you ever come across as being disrespectful to any one of your parents. I don't give a damn if they've never been there for you in their life. I don't give a damn if, you know, they cursed you out, you know, they mess around and hit your dog. I don't care what it is. You just don't do that's just one line you never cross because honestly, if it wasn't for both of them, you would not be here. You wouldn't exist. You would not be, be on planet Earth. So you should never fix your mouth to be disrespectful towards them in any way, shape, form, or fashion. This young man, this young man is moving based on his feelings. And we got to put that on somebody. It's a reason why he's moving based on his feelings because how he was raised. He was raised like that. All right. Whether it was his mom or the guy that was in his life. All right. He wasn't taught how to be a man. He wasn't raised to be a man. And so what he's doing right now is he's going against the grain. He's feeling some type of way. And I've seen this happen far too often. And what ends up happening in a lot of different situations is the child ends up resenting the mother because of that. Because that child feels like you kept them away from their dad. Sometimes that may not even be the case, you know? We oftentimes see the media. We oftentimes see, you know, people on social media, these movies, TV shows, and everything. They're always putting the guy down. They're always seeing that it's the guy's fault. And then after growing up and being around that guy, that father, that dad or whatever, they start to realize like, hey, this guy isn't half as bad as they try to make him seem. He's really not that bad. And so there is a huge resentment because of that. So you gotta be careful. Most of the time, these things can backfire. Do I think that she should have told that man who his dad really is? Absolutely. Like, if you was a, a thought pocket, and listen, he, again, under no circumstances did you ever disrespect your mom and say anything like that. Under no circumstances should you disrespect your dad and come out your mouth and talking crazy. But what they should have did, honestly, is the stepdad should have came in and checked him automatically. I don't care, you 16, you're not my son, but still the dad, the stepdad, or whoever he is, should be the man of the house, and he needs to have some type of control like, you know, I understand he's 16 now. You know, he probably done got a little height, got a little weight on him or whatever. He probably feel like, listen, I don't give it. I understand you're upset. I understand that, you know. And we should have came to you a lot earlier and explained to you what the situation was. We should not let you have gotten all the way up to age 16 to break this down to you. Respectfully. But don't you ever think just because we did things this way that you are allowed to disrespect anybody. If you feel like you've been done wrong in any type of way, under no circumstances, is it okay for you to act out of character? As a man, as a man, you need to control your feelings and you need to move based on logic. Don't allow your emotions to get the best of you and you end up doing or saying something that you're gonna regret later on. As a man, he should have been taught that. But you see this far too often today. A lot of children move based on their feelings and the media and even other parents, other people have made it so that these children believe that it's okay to come out of their mouth and be disrespectful towards their parents. Y'all some good ones, because I promise you, Listen, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn how old a child gets. I don't give. Let me tell you something. Your mom, your stepdad, if I'm not, listen, your mom, your stepdad, your brothers, 
your uncles, none of them, none of them will be able to keep me off of your <laughs> Don't play that, man. Again, I, I come from a different era. You know what I mean? I come from a different era. That, that disrespect, we don't tolerate that. I will beat the brakes off of somebody. I will beat the brakes off of you over respect. You just don't do that, man. I don't, I, I don't get it. And again, I'm not saying that the mom is not wrong. I'm not saying that she is not wrong. Listen, there are better ways to handle this situation and she honestly didn't handle it the way that she should have. Even though she was out there doing what she was doing at a, at a certain age or whatever, you know what I mean? I know we're gonna have some people down in the comments, well, what smoke do you got for the dad? This is why it is so important. Women, listen to me, right? Because I know it's a lot of a lot of people out there probably thinking like, what smoke do you got for the dad? Listen, let's avoid this. All right, those women out there that don't have children right now, all right? Before you give your body to someone, before you give your body, your time, your energy to someone, make sure that you are vetting that person correctly. You control access to sex you vet that man correctly and you pay attention to his actions and you get what a man that you can honestly see yourself with long term a husband the father of your children then you will not have to worry about this you will not have to worry about running into situations like this if that man is not willing to give you some type of commitment a ring marriage then you need to honestly honestly consider do i really want to give give this man the highest honor a woman can give a man which is his seed his child that's the highest honor a woman can give a man the highest honor a man can give a woman is to put a ring on that finger and claim that woman as his his wife if you don't have a man that's willing to make that type of commitment then this is just my suggestion. Or probably keep legs closed and save that for the next man that is willing. That's just my advice. But anyway, y'all let me know. What do you guys think down in the comments about this particular topic? Man? I would absolutely love to hear from you guys. All right. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be beautiful. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Blueberry, Burberry, butterna. Tan skin, mixed race, buttercup. Canada, weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to worry, she hit my phone, she wanna, whoa, too bad was you know they wrote.